You look at your credit score with fear every single time that you look at it. Well, in this video, I'm gonna help you guys learn how you guys can improve that credit score. And you know how it goes. Let's roll the intro. To another video guys today I'm gonna help you guys learn how you can improve your credit score and if you haven't already the previous video I talked about all the factors that affect your credit score and I'll put that link in the description if you are curious about all the factors so let's jump right into the video number one is you need to pay your bills on time I cannot stress how important this is and I touched on it in the previous video and it actually makes up 35% of your credit score which is the most out of any of the factors affecting your credit score. So if you're watching this and you have a credit card and you do not pay 100% of that bill every single month, well then you're gonna have a problem, right? You need to look at are you overspending, right? Are you not managing your money properly? Because there's a reason why you're not paying off that bill every single month. Maybe you need to get a higher credit limit or maybe you just need to use a debit card. So these are all things to think about when you're trying to pay your bills on time in your own personal situation. Now, number two is pay down debt. Now this is kind of a common sense one and you know what, most people, maybe you can't pay down debt because you're in a personal situation with your finances where you're putting all that money aside every single month and maybe you can't pay it down more. But what paying down debt will do, it's gonna help your credit utilization ratio, which should be under 30%. So the only way to affect that credit utilization ratio is either you're gonna pay down your debt more or you're gonna make more income per month. So that's something to take a look at and that actually affects 30% of your credit score right along with paying your bills on time, which is 35% of your credit. What I always tell people is if you have an interest rate on any debt that you'd have of around 5% or higher, that should be your primary focus to pay down that debt to zero. So most likely, you know, this is going to be, um, you know, if you're hit with a credit card late payment, you know, that's a lot higher of an interest rate, normally around 17% or 19%. But you know, interest rates around there might be a car loan, maybe your student loans, right? So this is your primary focus to get this balance down to zero as fast as possible. But number three is to make any outstanding payments and bring them up to date. So with your credit card, you know, this blows my mind, astronomical interest rates on a credit card. I think mine's like 17.5%. Other credit cards are even more when you have a late payment. So that's your primary focus if you have late payments on a credit card to bring those all the way to zero so you can erase that debt and it's not gonna keep hurting your credit score every single month. And now number four, dispute inaccurate information on your credit card file, right? If you see something on your credit card or if you see information that is inaccurate, if you do not say anything or if you don't notice it, so that goes to checking your files and making sure everything is correct, well, that's gonna ding your credit score and that's not gonna be your fault. So that's gonna suck. So keep up to date on your credit cards, you know, things being charged and make sure all the files, all the information going in is accurate and up to date. Now, number five, the last one is limit new credit requests. So this goes back, which I touched on in the previous video, is doing a hard inquiry poll is what it's called. And if you guys didn't watch the previous video, essentially what this is, is when you go to a mortgage lender or a bank, to apply for a mortgage loan, they'll do a hard pull of your interest rate. This is gonna ding your interest rate around five to 10 points, depending on your credit history and how long you've been building credit for, but a good average is five to 10 points, right? So you wanna limit how many times you try to open up credit in a year, especially especially if you have a fresh credit history because this is gonna hurt you more than, you know, say someone who's had credit history for 20 or 30 years. So how can you avoid this? Is just make sure all your ducks are in a row. You know, if you wanna get a business loan or maybe you wanna go apply for a mortgage, right? Just know what bank you're gonna to go to, know who you're gonna use, 
get all your paperwork necessary so you're not bouncing around from person to person. You're just locked into that one person and you'll be all good. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you liked the video and hey, if you got any value out of this video, hit that like and subscribe button down there and comment on the video of any tips that you might use to improve your credit score. All right guys, stay tuned for the two videos coming later this week and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.